What up, you weirdos? Dave here, and I like knives. Today, <coughs> I apologize. Today we have a double feature, because I love y'all so much. We have the Kershaw Axle on my right, and the Kershaw Filter on my left. As usual, both of these are budget Kershaw flippers, because I'm cheap and poor and bad at controlling my impulse buying. They are both made of 3CR13, which is a steel that I have not heard of outside of the context of these two knives, which means I assume it's pretty crappy. I don't know that for a fact. I don't know anything for a fact. But, I mean, except for, except for this part. I know that this is a fact. It's CR3, CR13. They are great at this. Uh, they are both black wash models. Uh, to my understanding, these are not available in any other, any other paint job, I suppose, bead blasting, stone wash, whatever. These are just the black wash, uh, only available in black wash. They are both China made, as, since most knives that are made in China are budget Kershaw and whatever. Uh, San Ren Mu does not have a cornerstone in that market much to uh, many people's confusion. It's actually Kershaw. Uh, uh, they are both frame... Er, I just hit my knife. They are both frame locks and have about the same measurements. Uh, both are about three and a quarter inches in length. Uh, the blade is. Both are plain edge. Both have about four and a half inches of... Ah, stay in frame, you idiot. Both are have about four and a half inch handles. They are one and a half inches wide and about a quarter of an inch thick in that dimension. And they both weigh between four and five ounces. I think the axle is a little bit lighter, so that would mean that the filter is about five ounces. The axle would be about four and a half. The axle I like a bit more personally because of this grooving right here makes it makes it easier more satisfying to hold in hand the filter the not much not much past that not much uh not much behind in that regard because of the jimping makes it more comfortable for the thumb uh so it's kind of a toss up in that area i like the grind on the filter better it's very long bevel in this regard whereas the axle is has a much thinner bevel with a swedge on the back. Makes the blade a little bit tougher. Uh, so, er. And remember earlier when I bonk, bonked the knife into it? Gave it a solid nick right there. So, uh, that's the quality of CR13 and the quality of my doing this. Anyway. Uh, so I prefer the filter if I'm like cutting apples or something and the axle obviously very cheap beater that you don't have to care about and because it's more comfortable has a little thumb ramp there because it's more comfortable for extended use I prefer this when cutting boxes and stuff like that uh, pfft, what else am I doing useless thumb studs this is actually that's a bit of a rant I'll do the clips first. I'm great at this. Uh, both are single position deep carry. Keep it in frame. Both are single position deep carry clips right there. Uh, you can't tip up, tip down, or switch it. Just the one spot. I believe, I haven't tested this, but I believe they are actually the same clip. So they're interchangeable. So if you have one, you can take it off and put it on the other. Now for a bit of a rant. I don't understand why this thumb stud is here. It's it's a flipper. That thumb stud doesn't need to be there. It has a flip on the back. Luckily, uh, my biggest issue with the shuffle was that the thumb stud was in the way of the blade. Luckily, that is not an issue here, in part because the blade is so much bigger, but also the thumb stud is further back. But even... Even when it's out of the way, it's still unnecessary. It doesn't act as a blade stop. 
it has no purpose in existence. So why Kershaw? Why is it there? It would be cheaper just to not use that material. But whatever. Um, I've been been to dozens of forums with a dozen different ways to take these off. Some of them are screw caps. You just grab the two with pliers and twist. Uh, I have tried multiple times on both of these, as you can probably see by how scratched up the thumb studs are. Rubbed off the black wash on them. Uh, some of them say, some of the forums say to to push them out with a vice grip. I don't know. I really shouldn't have to do that. Stop putting thumb studs on flippers if they're not going to actually do anything. I feel strongly about some things. The filter to get to price. Uh, Kershaw lists the filter as a thirty dollar knife. Uh, you can find it on Amazon for 19 and Knife Center for 20 As usual, Kershaw has no idea the actual value of the things they make, which is frustrating for me, but luckily Amazon is there to pick up the slack. The reason that this, this grouping fascinates me so much is I bought this, uh, this axle at a tractor supply company store in... Uh, in Florida, that's what the Panhandle one is. Panhandle's in Texas. Shut up, Dave. Bought this tractor supply company in Florida for 20 bucks. Thought nothing of it. There's an eBay listing for $28 that listed as super rare. And it is the only reference to the Kershaw Axle that I can find in all of, all of the interwebs. I cannot find the... Proof of the existence of this knife on Kershaw's main website. Uh, can't find it on Amazon. Can't find it anywhere except for that one eBay post that says super rare. This knife confuses me in a half dozen ways. But, that said, if you find it for less than $30, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, both are solid enough. Both are good enough. Uh, that they're not going to fail you. So if you can find them for around 20 that's a half-decent investment. Don't pay 30 for them. Come on, Kershaw. Stop trying to crap people out of money. Uh, but yeah, out of an arbitrary 86 stars, I give these a little bit higher than a meh. Because they're, they're pretty good. They're half-decent knives. They do what they're supposed to, which is not suck. That's about my, my standard level for knives like these. They don't suck. That means that they're pretty good. So, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please list them below. And other than that, have a great day.